This is my Clyde Caddis or Maggot. This is a natural one. You can also do it in colours. You can do it in probably just do it in these two colours, the natural and the red. Uh, the difference is just the colouring underneath. Right, so we've got on the tying. Uh, the hook is my normal hook for now is for caddis patterns, which is the Fasner clink hook. This is a size 14. I also do it in size 16. Uh, underbody is done with white uni stretch. Start the uni stretch away from the eye to keep it a bit clearer. Halfway down, take your waist off. Bring it quite well round the bend. Just watch you don't affect the gape of the hook when you're doing these. I like this hook because it's a nice wide gape on it. I know I'm not putting a bead on this, but you can also weight it as, if you want, but I don't bother because I use it as a top dropper or a middle dropper. And all my weight's in the point fly. Especially coming into the, the summer. A great trout fly, this. Good for the grailing as well. I started tying this for my friends, uh, Peter and John, um, were still using um, floats and maggots, and I was on the fly, and uh, I started tying this so that I could steal all their fish. So just building it up in the middle. Getting your nice profile. And the profile is more important with flies than anything. Now, if you spin the uh, the thread away from you, it flattens it out. You just do. You just need to do this at the end, and it gives you a wee bit smoother finish. I know you're going to cover it, but if you're doing a pattern that's not covered, that's quite a good wee tip, just to get a better finish. Right. This is the underbody, so it doesn't need to be really neat, but just whip that off. Keep it nice and tight. That's the underbody for like most of my like caddis, uh, garden fly, all these ones. Uh, virtually the same. It's a really easy way to build the body up quickly. So. Uh, I use um, Nano Silk and White for most of my tying. Uh, I don't colour this one on the garden fly. I use the 6 aught. This is 18 aught. Uh, I'm not going to colour this. This doesn't get any colour. It just accentuates the, the ribbon on the fly. Again, don't use scissors. Use a scalpel. Scissors are... It's hard to cut with scissors. Just get a small piece of um, virtual nymph skin. Uh, this is a nymph. I'm getting a lot of inquiries about this. This is a virtual nymph skin here, and it's the translucent three mil. That's what you want. Not the natural. That's a kind of cream colour. But you can see they do loads of different colours, and that's the website you get it at, at from Dale Rushby. Rushby. It's www.virtual-nymph.com. That's where you get this. With the nymph skin, cut it at 45 degrees, which helps you tie it in better. So you've got a thread at the back, which will be your rib, and a thread at the front. Angle your hook, makes it easier to tie in. So just get your catch your tip, one, two, and then stretch it back. Take your thread off the back, and it gives you a real neat finish. If you've got a nice vice like mine, you can hang the thread behind the, the handle. This is a vice I get from uh, Austria. Uh, we're hoping to be selling them this year in the UK. So keep an eye for that. They're absolutely fantastic vices. Right, just reposition the fly. Get your. This is 12 watt. 
Non, non, c'est ok. No build up. This is just to tie off the nim skin. Again, I'm your scalpel. Now, on the the maggots got a small kind of, I think it's a kind of stomach. So you just want to dab just very lightly, but you can see how the uni stretch. You just touch it, and it bleeds out. Makes it very natural. And that's basically ready to tie now. So just get your nymph skin, stretch it out. I've had some guys fo uh, sending me messages about the garden fly, and it's basically just because they're not. One guy sent me a picture of his, and my garden fly had 23 tons, and his had 12, and that's why he wasn't getting the, the translucent body. So once you've got your first three on, you'll see the line here. Uh, that's where you want to, once you've got the first three turns on, you're back onto the full width of the nymph skin. And then what you do is you just bring your, keep it stretched, and put the next turn, keep your thumb and, yeah, your finger on top, and that'll stop it springing away from you. You can alter the tension, and it, makes you a better, so you can loosen it off slightly in the middle and then once you get to the head you really want to start to tighten it up again that guy had about 12, 13 tons on a size 10 worm hook and I've nearly got the same amount of tons just on this size 14 so you just bring it, pull it down tight, bring it underneath wrap it over once, twice three times and that'll hold you in sorry it's just a wee bit awkward with the camera here and then just bring in your whip finish one two three down up and pull that tight hold your hook pull it in really tight again the nano salt's brilliant for that it's not going anywhere bring your scalpel in underneath snap it off and you give yourself a really neat finish Put your scissors underneath the hook, push up, pull down and snap it off. Yeah, you can see how clean that is. And now we're just ready for the rib. So what you want to do is turn at the back and then just follow your... Just follow the nymph skin up. And what you're doing with, it, with this is accentuating the, the segmentation. Just pull it really tight. Again, if you try to do this with, with nylon... Eh, we, the old a lot of guys used to do it with nylon gut and it's just doesn't give it's far too thick nearly finished one two three whip it off pull it tight scalpel and cut it off Nice neat head, nice colour going through, but where it really comes into its own is with the Solares Bone Dry. If you're doing a lot, like I do, is just put some in a... You can use it straight out of the bottle because it comes with a brush. I don't. I use my own uh, sable brush. Very fine point. You hardly need any at all for this. Um, this is probably even too much, but you'll see the colours really starts to soak through this once you add the, it seems to soak into the, it was David High's doing the wax worm, I noticed that he'd covered his and it was really, really translucent. See the colour in that now, really, really shines through. And then you just get your. This is a solarized torch. Comes with a replacement battery. It's a very. It's not none of no one of these like stupid wee pens you get. This is a. It's a major <laughs> torch, but it really does hit it. Once 
only takes a few seconds and I give it a wee bit extra but maybe 10 seconds max if you turn your vice just you can see the finish that gives you so that's us Clyde Caddis thanks for watching